In this video, I will provide you with a few ideas that can be used to build a stairway on a hillside that might be steeper than 35 degrees. So if you have a standard stairway that has an 11 inch tread and a seven and a half inch riser, you're going to have 34.3 degrees. If your hillside is somewhere close to this, somewhere between, or let's just say under 37 degrees, maybe even 38 degrees, you're not going to have a problem. But if you do have a hillside that's a little steeper, uh, you might be able to solve your problem by just putting a retaining wall in and then changing the direction of the stairway. So if we came up, changed the direction, and then went back up again, this, this type of stairway right here allows us to put a stairway on a hillside with a 39 degree, 39.1 degree angle. So we couldn't really do this. You could build a stairway. It's just not going to be as safe as this particular stairway. Another thing you might need to do will be to add additional retaining walls. And uh, here we have one coming off the side. So your retaining walls, and even if you're gonna build curb walls, like this here and of course this right here is going to allow you to put a um, slope here that isn't going to be as steep you know if you have uh, maybe a 35 degree angle or 40 degree angle and then it's got to drop down to a 50 degree angle and then back to a 35 degree angle something like that this could be a problem area here so you know uh, building a set of stairs on a hillside like this and making it safe is going to require more than one retaining wall most of the time. And uh, that, of course, is to keep all of the debris and, uh, you know, sand, leaves, uh, stuff like that to prevent someone from slipping on this stuff and um, injuring themselves. Another idea would be to have the curb wall run all the way up if that would work for you. So another idea that might save you some time and money and of course provide you with a nicer looking stairway. And for those of you who have a hillside that uh, has a steeper slope on it, a retaining wall at the bottom might be your answer. And of course, uh, here I have a concrete set of stairs. You can always use wood on the other side of the retaining wall. You can always use wood up here also. Just make sure that it's the right type of wood. Um, sometimes pressure treated lumber, if you're gonna be putting it on the ground, needs to be ground rated. So that's ground rated pressure treated lumber, not round, ground, G-R-O-U-N-D. A lot of, you go down to buy pressure treated lumber at your local home improvement center or something like that might not be the right lumber. So check that out and make sure. So the retaining wall height and um, location is going to be critical to your design. And let's just go ahead and start out with an angle here, 47 degrees, that's a steep slope. And this area here, of course, is going to get backfilled if you did have something like this. So again, retaining wall, you can always build a, a wood framed stairway to save yourself some money after you've just put your expensive retaining wall in, of course. Now let's go ahead and remove the stairway, give you an idea. I know a lot of times it's hard for people to understand or get an idea of what I'm actually doing when I've already done it. It's already been completed. So here we have an existing structure. Here's the stairway. And again, you can take this, you can see here where you could move this entire section, this direction or this direction. You could cut into the hillside if you needed to, or you could move it uh, over here if you had a steeper slope. Um, so if you had like a 50 degree slope, it might benefit you to move it this way and then build a longer stairway here. And then you would simply backfill this area. So the backfill, of course, uh, can be soil, can be compactable soil, uh, fill, stuff like that. Gravel's what I kind of have here, but you're probably not going to backfill something like this with gravel. It's going to be a material similar to the one that you have here. It's just that if it isn't compacted, then um, you could have problems with your stairs if you have any structural support 
in this fill area. So for example, if you're going to put some footings, it might be better to put the footings in the area that um, the existing area that has not been disturbed. If you put a footing in here, a structural footing in this area, and the soil settles, well then your footing is also going to move down and could create problems for your stairway. Now here's a situation that I referred to a few seconds ago where if you might need to move the stairway out a little further. Here we have a 60 degree slope and of course a lot more backfill in this area and of course we had to move the stairway out a little bit but it's still kind of ended up in the same point. So just another idea of course. Now here's another situation you could run into where you wouldn't need a retaining wall. You could build a set of stairs. We have a 29 degree angle here. Um, but this, this right here you can see I left the stairs in here to um, help you uh, figure out what I was doing here. But this is going to provide us with more level area in the backyard. So if we remove everything, let's just go back and then go back again. You know, we're going to be removing some of the um, hillside and building a retaining wall and then getting more level area in the backyard. And I remember um, I, I knew a guy who did this one time. He was putting a pool in his house and he built a retaining wall. And so that he could put a pool with a waterfall on the side of it. it really looked neat the way that uh, they did it. So same situation here. Retaining wall again is what uh, is going to allow you to do something like this. So hillside here with the stairs already built to give you an idea how much you would have to remove. So this would be the amount of soil that would need to be removed for your stairway. And this is our last example. So again, um, building stairs with retaining walls on hillsides could be the answer that you're looking for. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Hit the old thumbs up button. Comments are always appreciated. Uh, let us know what you think of the video. I know a lot of people watch these videos and uh, they don't really, they're never going to use it, never uh, going to run into a situation like this. But for those of you who watch the video and it's going to make all the difference in the world on your particular project, let us know.